Good morning, good morning, good morning, wherever you're watching me from. I'm live this morning to treat a very important spiritual teaching. Wherever you're watching me from, good morning. If you are online, if you are live, drop a comment, say I am here. If you are on live, drop a comment and say I am here. Good morning to you all. Good morning to you all. I greet you this glorious morning. Wherever you're watching me from, I greet you all. As you wake up this morning, you're waking up into glory. As you wake up this morning, you're waking up into greatness. It's a wonderful weekend for every one of us. I say good morning to you once again. Wherever you are, drop a comment. Say, I am here. If you are just joining this life, say, I am here. So today, I will quickly teach about stagnation. I will, I will quickly teach about stagnation. If you have been stagnant for a very long time, if you have been stagnant for a very long time, so that's what I'm going to teach you about. I'm going to drop this very simple spiritual teaching that you, you're going to be doing. You prepare it and you're going to be doing it continuously. So that's what I'm going to drop. That's what I'm going to be teaching about. So if you're online this morning, say I am here. So today, if you're online this morning, say I am here. So what are we going to do? You have been stagnant for a very long time. Things are not moving well for you. Things are not moving well for you. You have been stagnant for a very long time. You have been doing a lot of things, but it's still not working. You are earning money, you know, a lot of people are working, they are anywhere, they are doing a particular business, they are anywhere. But do you believe that after what they've earned in a particular period of time, they are going to spend that money on sickness? Maybe they are doing a particular business, the profit from that particular business, they are going to spend it on sickness or they spend it on one issue or the other, which is not profitable to them which is not profitable to them. You know, a lot of things are happening. People are stagnant in life. Whatever they put their hands in, it seems like nothing is moving well for them. So I want to, you to quickly do this spiritual direction. And mind you, this very spiritual direction does not stop you from doing any other spiritual work, right? Does not stop you from doing any other spiritual work. This spiritual direction is also to back you up. So you're going to back you up in any other spiritual direction you are still going to be doing. You get olive oil. Get a bottle of olive oil. It may not be this size. It may be any other size you can afford or you can get. Get a bottle of olive oil. That's the first thing you're going to do. You get a bottle of olive oil. You get honey. Whenever I'm talking about honey, I mean undiluted honey. So if you are doing any spiritual work, make sure you get original honey. Make sure you get original honey because it contains the natural ingredient or it is natural. So that's when it's going to always going to manifest when it's natural honey. Don't go and get undiluted honey or mixed honey. Don't go and get diluted honey or mixed honey. Make sure you get original honey the natural honey is what you're going to get so you get olive oil and you get honey these are the two first thing you need you get olive oil and you get honey so after getting these very two items right you get sea salt sea salt yes sea salt if you are be following my spiritual teaching and you still don't have sea salt please go and get it go and get sea salt if you are be following my teachings and you are not you, are, you still don't have sea salt in your house go and get sea salt go and get sea salt you can get 
any amount you want keep it in your house you can be you be using it little by little little by little sometimes sometimes you can buy this so even if you buy this sort of c sort of uh of two thousand naira or three thousand naira you can use it for a whole year if you buy this sort of three thousand naira you can use it for almost a whole year if you can buy the one the the big one you can buy smaller one and you you be using it because a lot of my spiritual direction is require sea salt it requires sea salt so get sea salt also keep it in your house get undiluted only keep it in your house these are the common things that you need to get in your house to help your spiritual life these are the common things that you need to get in your house to help your spiritual life to boost your spiritual life so you having all these items in your house so you whenever there's any teaching like this you quickly dive into it and use it according to the instructions that is being given so the high terms is olive oil undiluted honey and sea salt that's the three items then the last thing you're going to do is you get a white candle you get white candle three white candle you get three white candle so when you get this three white candle olive oil on that the original honey and sea salt so when it is evening, around 10 p.m. in the evening, around 10 p.m. in the evening, you get your olive oil. You open it. When you open your olive oil, you can reduce it a little bit. You can reduce it a little bit so that every other thing you are going to add into it, the space will be enough to contain it. So when you get your olive oil, when it's 10 p.m. in the evening, after getting all this item, you take your sea salt. You take a spoon, a spoon of sea salt, of your sea salt, you add it into it, the olive oil, after you open it, after you open it. Then you also get your honey, your original honey. Put like three teaspoons of the undiluted honey into the olive oil also. After putting all these items, adding the sea salt to it, adding the undiluted honey into the oil, the olive oil to cover it up so when you cover it up you get your white candle when you get your white candle you make your white candle in the form of a triangle you get your white candle and, and light it and make it in the form of a triangle after putting in a position of a triangle you light it up you light it up you take your olive oil and put it in the middle of the candle that you make in a triangle shape you put the olive oil in the middle of the candle that you make in a triangle shape. So when you're done with that, you, you stay with the oil and begin to pray that very night. Pray on it. Pray your heart desire on it. Call the power of God to rest upon the oil. Call the power of God to rest upon the oil. Pray on it fervently. So after doing all these prayers on the oil, after doing all this prayer on the oil, you can go to your sleep. You can go back to your sleep. You don't have to pray for too long. Even if you can pray for 10 minutes, it's enough. You say you say all your heart desire, what you want the oil to do for you. Add the oil, you want the oil to manifest. You go to your sleep. But leave the candle on. Leave the candle. Don't off. Don't put off the candle that you have light. Don't put off the three candle that you have light. Leave it on. Let it burn by itself. Let it burn by itself. If in any situation, the candle went off and you didn't put it off the candle did not finish burn, burning and it went off by itself know that your situation or your case need a very powerful spiritual attention know that your situation need a very powerful spiritual attention but in any situation where whereby you light up the candle and the candle burn down by itself fine then in the morning you take your oil that you've prayed on, you take your oil. Then what you're going to do, how are you going to be using this very oil? When you wake up in the morning, maybe by, when you are about to go out, put a cup, this cup cup of the olive oil, take some in your mouth and drink it or lick it. Then when you want to take your bath, also add some drop of the oil into your bathing water. Add some drop of this oil into your bathing water then after adding some drop of the oil to your bathing water when you are going out maybe after taking your bath when you're going out 
just tip some of the oil you can use it to rub any part of your body you can use it to rub your face you can use it to rub your legs your and you can use it to rub all part of your body if you wish carry this out this assignment is simple what is powerful those that have done it before those that have instructed to do it before testified about it those are instructed to do this very powerful spiritual assignment they testify about it it's very very powerful carry this out and you're going to come back to testify it's simple it does not take much from you but it's powerful as you are on live please share this life share this life let me know you are online share this life share this life okay share this life so carry this out and you come back to testify it doesn't matter the kind of re your religion belief it doesn't matter there is a big difference between spirituality and religion your religious belief and your spiritual spiritual life they are two different things this is a spiritual battle is a spiritual cause so that you are going to fight spiritually you understand you are going to fight spiritually whatsoever religion belief that you you believe in religion you believe in you can carry out this spiritual assignment and I, you can carry out this spiritual assignment and i don't think that there's any of my teachings that is going against anybody's anybody's religious belief because i i believe in god almighty that creates heaven and earth because god creates everything for us he created the plants that we are using today the plants we we use as food as apps as whatever you understand he created he created the hair that we breathe in man did not create this so god is mighty god is great so very powerful spiritual assignment as you are watching wherever you are watching from please carry out this spiritual assignment carry out this spiritual assignment you come back to testify by the grace of god almighty and after preparing this after preparing this it does not stop you from using any spiritual soap right if you are using this very oil you can still be using any spiritual other spiritual soap other spiritual items it does not stop you from using any other spiritual items okay just get your olive oil as i explained before you olive oil bottle of olive oil the brand new one please don't get don't not the one you have been using before maybe you have olive oil at home no just go to the market and get a new one you can get any size of your choice get only undiluted only so whenever I'm teaching, please uh, make sure all my teachings you are using undiluted only, the original only. Don't use a diluted only or adulterated only. And also you get sea salt. Please, if you have been following my teaching, sea salt is very important because a lot of my teaching, I always talk about sea salt. It's different from the cooking salt. Sea salt is different from the cooking salt. Make sure you get sea salt to it. So when you get sea salt, when you want to pray, on this oil you get three white candle when it's 10 p.m. when it's 10 p.m. you get open your olive oil after opening your olive oil removing depending on the kind of olive oil you get you have sea salt to it just a spoon of sea salt to it then also get your undiluted only you add three undiluted only three spoon of undiluted only into the very bottle of olive oil if in, the, if in the case where the olive oil is, is filled up, you can reduce it a little bit so that the honey and the sea salt you are adding to it will be able to contain it. Then after adding all this item, get your three candle. Make your three candle in the form of a triangle. Your three white candle, make it in the form of a triangle on the floor by 10, that same 10 p.m. Then light the candle. When you light up the candle, make it in the form of a triangle and put your olive oil that you've mixed the honey and the sea salt into. Put it in the middle of the triangle of the, can the candle that you make in the shape of a triangle. Say all your heart desire, all your prayers on it. All your heart desire, all your prayers. Say it on it. After saying all your heart desire, all your prayers on it, pray on it fervently. Pray on it fervently from the bottom of your heart. Then go to your sleep. Please, when you don't off the candle, don't put off the candle. When you when you are going to your sleep, don't put off the candle. Leave your candle to be hung. If in a situation where you see that the candle up, 
went off by itself when it has not finished burning when the candle has not finished burning and the candle just went off by itself know that the power behind your situation is very very powerful they are they are very strong and you need an urgent spiritual attention okay just know that the power behind your spiritual predicament they are powerful and they need a very urgent spiritual attention so don't you, know, you don't have to put it on anymore but when you light up the candle let the candle fin burn by itself to the end then in the morning you pick up your olive oil whenever you want to take your bath whenever you want to take your bath add some drop into your bathing water and also lick some from the olive oil lick any amount of you want from the very olive oil then if you are going out you apply some you can apply it all over any part of your body you can, you can apply it all over your body depending on how you feel you can apply it in your face your hand your legs any part of your body and whenever you are using it please say a word of prayer say a word of prayer because i always tell i always teach on this channel that there is power in your tongue right there is power in our tongue god did not create give us a tongue for eating alone god did not give us tongue to eat alone god as the when god created us he also gave us the power in our tongue so there is power in your tongue whatsoever you are declaring is powerful whatsoever coming out of your mind as as words they are very powerful so don't take um, spiritual um declaring the word of prayer don't take it lightly don't take it as a joke whatsoever comes for your mind there are powers there are, there are angels there are angels that are waiting to say amen to it there are angels there are powers that, that is waiting to say so shall it be to it so there's power in your tongue so say a word of prayer into the olive oil whenever you are using it whenever you are using it to take your bath or applying your body what you want god to do for you that thing you want god to do for you that thing you are expecting god for by the grace of god my almighty that creates heaven and earth is going to reach you by the grace of god almighty is going to reach you so as you're watching please share this life if there is any question you want to ask drop the com the question in the comment section or inbox me directly if you don't want if you want a private question to ask send me a message directly or drop it as a comment on this video or this life so for whatever question you have i'm ready to treat it someone is asking for my number i'm going to send my number to you my whatsapp number to you later on after this life so that's for this teaching please as you are watching also share this very teaching to other people let other people also learn and benefit from this teaching as you're learning from this page let other people benefit also from it share it so that other people can learn and also benefit thanks for watching to this teaching we hope to see you in our next life videos and teaching I pray that the power of God Almighty is going to be with you all. As you are going out to your business place, to your workplace, wherever you are going out, you are going out and you are coming in. The power of God Almighty that creates heaven and earth is going to be with you. It's going to protect you all. It's going to guide you. going to direct you. That thing that you have been praying for, wishing for, for so long, by the grace of God Almighty that creates heaven and earth, that creates us, that creates the birds in the air that create the animals in the land that create the animals in the sea the god that separate the water from the land the god almighty is going to be with you all wherever you are wherever you are going god's protection is going to be with you god's protection is going to be with you god's direction is going to be with you god is going to direct you to where he wants you to be where he wants you to be a place of safety a place of greatness god is going to direct you or to greatness thanks for staying with me on this life we i hope to see you in our next life god almighty and his grace be upon your life remain blessed thank you all